Hello gamers and welcome back to the channel. Apologies first off for my voice, I've got a horrible cold at the moment, but I'm going to persevere anyway and bring you a video on how to get Xbox Cloud Gaming working on the deck. First thing we need to do is we need to get over to desktop mode. Now as you can see I clearly clicked the wrong button, so we'll get over to desktop mode. Here you just press the steam button and then you go to switch desktop under the power options. Once we're in desktop mode, we need to open up the store. Now we need to make it, first of all, we need to make it a bit bigger so we can see what we're working with. And then we need to search for Microsoft Edge. Now the way we do this is using a web browser and we will change it all so it looks like an actual game on the Steam Deck game mode itself. So we just download Microsoft Edge, we'll get that going. Um, I've not tested this with an actual game being played as I don't have a subscription to this at the moment but I thought I'd put a video together just to show you how to set it up as I know there's been a couple of people that have asked the question so I thought why not let's make it, it can't be that difficult. Now there is some code that is needed and that will be in the description so I'll copy and paste that into the description so that can be copied and pasted into the necessary fields. What I do in this video is I actually key it in because I've got a, a keyboard connected to my, my Steam Deck when it's in the docked mode as well as a mouse and on a monitor which may explain why the screen looks a bit smaller and zoomed out than usual. So we just need to wait for this to download. For some reason it seems to be taking its sweet time. Hopefully it won't take too much longer and then we can get on with the tutorial. If you have Game Pass Cloud already and you're looking to get this into the deck, please do let me know in the comments if this video has been helpful. Um, it means a lot to me. I like to help people. And if you do enjoy it, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Once that's downloaded, we need to right click on it in the menu and go to add to Steam. There's multiple ways of doing this, but I find that this works the quickest. Now we need to open up console and we need to type in the code that, like I said, will be copied into the description. Uh, I rekey mine in here because it's just, I find it easier with the keyboard connected up. Once we've got that code entered in, we just need to press the return key. If nothing happens, you've done it right. If something happens, then we may have a problem and you may need to go back and just check the spacings and the actual code itself is correct as per the description. So just finish off typing that in, get the return on and then let's see if we get any errors on that. So what this does is this will always load the Microsoft Edge application in game mode to these certain parameters uh, which we're going to paste into the properties once we get back over into game mode. Right, there we go, so that's entered in, no errors, so just close that down, and then we're done in desktop mode, so let's head back to game mode. I have a few problems with my mouse at the moment with the Steam Deck. If there's anything in the way of the signal, it just seems to not work. So before we go back to game mode, I forgot this step, we need to go into Steam itself. So this is automatically being added into Steam. So we just need to go to our library and find out where Microsoft Edge is. Um, it usually is quite down near the bottom, it's all alphabetical. Um, and then once that's found, we just need to click on it. And then we'll do some little tweaks to make it look perfect. Well, near enough perfect. So we need to first of all click the properties and go into the property settings and rename it to what you want to rename it. I'm going to call mine Game Pass. I will probably tweak this because I'm quite OCD when it comes to the Steam Deck and the actual game mode settings. Now in this field here at the bottom, there should be a couple of, we need to scroll right to the end, which is proven quite difficult for me apparently and we need to place a space and then we need to type in or copy and paste the other section of command 
which will be in the description again and this will force Game Pass as we now call it Microsoft Edge to open in game mode at certain scalings and certain elements to give it that look and feel of the Microsoft dashboard once we've got everything sorted so what I actually do here is I don't put the speech marks at the end I believe I put an at symbol I can't remember and it's far too small for me to see on this recording while I'm voicing over so I encounter this problem where it won't open and it's seen a quick fix to find out why once we've got that keyed in it's a long bit of text to key in manually so my advice would be to copy and paste from the video description once that's in we need to go back into game mode if you are enjoying this video please do drop a comment and let me know it means a lot to me and it means a lot to the channel the channel has blown up recently and I love creating content for you guys and girls to watch so I believe we're done now so we exit that off close that down and then let's jump back into game mode and let's do some fun bits once we're back in game mode we need to go to our library and find Microsoft Edge also known as Game Pass so click on library find where it is there it is it's the horrible one with no image so click on it and then we need to use the controller so just quickly change the controller my advice would be to set this as um, gamepad with mouse trackpad that will just make it give it that immersive feeling once we're in it so settings settings again and then change artwork now this is a decky plugin which um, you can view my decky loader video on my channel and we just need to change this over to say xbox game pass or just game pass which I believe is what I did. Yes. Xbox Game Pass. There you go. And then get that settings go. Yep. Click out of it and we're good to go. Now, this is where the images come in. So find one that you like. Some of these are quite neon. I go for the more muted kind of look because I don't want it to scream at me. Um, change the Game Pass banner, the wide capsule, and the background just to be the green the logo standard change of logo just whatever you want it to be there's a few on there as you can see the icons now every time you change the icon it will ask to restart the deck I don't do this off the straight away because I shut mine down so next time I come in it will all be loaded up now once that's all done let's give it a play and this is where it errors I try it a couple of times because I'm clearly an idiot and I can't read my own typing so I then realize that yes I do need to go into the properties go to the bottom property and replace the final symbol with a speech mark Once that's done, we'll go back in and we'll test it. And it should, in theory, work. So let's click the play button and then boom, straight in. So as you can see, it gives you that look and feel of an Xbox. It's been a while since I've played on an Xbox. Um, as you can probably tell from the channel, I'm a PlayStation kind of guy. Uh, I love me the trophies. And you can see that it the videos play seamlessly it looks like we're in um, xbox there you go so if you enjoyed the tutorial please do drop a like drop a subscription and please do leave a comment it means a lot to me and i'll catch you in the next episode of tutorials